Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? If you have an Android phone and it has a USB-C port, this is an actually a multiple use port. It's not just for charging the phone. I'm gonna show you some things that you can do with it beyond that. Now this is a SanDisk hard drive right here. It's a very portable hard drive. Actually, it's an SSD drive. So it's very thin and lightweight and portable. I use it for my external storage when I wanna store stuff, take it along with me. You know, cause it fits neatly in the pocket or in your purse or in your book bag, wherever you wanna put it. Now the cool thing about this drive, it comes with a USB-C plug. On one end, it has an adapter that makes it a USB. But if I take off that adapter, it becomes a USB-C. Now that it has this end right here, all I have to do is plug it into my phone and this phone now has an external storage. And I can use this storage to transfer files. But not only that, I might wanna add stuff to the phone that I have on an external source, like this hard drive right here. So I can transfer the information into my phone, whether it be a document, music, video, whatever it is, I can transfer it to and I can transfer it off. Now you have to stroll through your phone and find the file manager app. It might be a different name, but it will be some type of file management app based on who makes your phone. Now, once you get into file manager, you're going to see all your stuff. You know, everything that you have stored on the phone, you're going to see your pictures and your videos and your music all stored in some type of file system. Now, mine might not look like yours, but it should look similar somehow. Then you're going to see your internal storage. Then you're going to see your SD card storage. And then you're going to see an external storage that you connect to that port. Now mine shows up as a micro SD card. And let me unplug it to show you what I'm talking about. You see, when I unplug it, now you're down to two. Once I plug it back in, you're gonna see it initialize and then you're gonna see it appear on the list. So there it is, it says 250 gigs. I know that's the right drive because I know this is a 250 gig hard drive I have connected to the phone right now. So if I click that, I can go in and I can see all the stuff that I had stored on that drive. And then I can add stuff to the drive or I can take stuff off. But that's a good way of me backing up my phone if my phone is getting too full, especially the internal storage, I can transfer that stuff off to this external hard drive and then I'm good to go. Now I have more room on my phone. And it's pretty simple to do. Once you go in there and you want to move something, like I want to move this folder, I can click on it right there. It'll highlight it. You see that little check mark, but I can also check some more stuff. And then I can click these three lines and I can say move to, or I can copy. If I move it, I'm moving it off to another drive. So say I want to click move. It's going to say, okay, well, where do you want to put it? So I can say, put it on that micro SD card and it's gonna move it over. I'm not gonna do that right now. So now you can see I can move stuff from the internal storage to an external storage. And I can move stuff around from the internal storage to the SD card because you know, my phone might be getting full and I just wanna move stuff to another location. So my phone don't start slowing down, if you know what I mean. So that's one good way of using the USB-C port on these type of phones. It gets you that ability to connect to external drive for more space or more storage if you want to do that. But if you actually buy the adapter that has the USB-C and the regular USB connector on the end, the female, now you can actually plug your thumb drive into it. And then you can transfer stuff off the thumb drive to and from. Now another thing you can do with this cable, even though this cable comes with my portable hard drive, I can plug it into the USB-C port on the phone and then the regular USB into your computer and now you can transfer files from the phone to the computer or to the computer to the phone. So I hope you're getting the picture now that this port is a very versatile port. And in some cases you can hook up a headphones to it as long as the headphones have the USB-C connector on the other end. So start using it. You know, you might have stuff on a flash drive that you're trying to figure out how you're gonna get on your phone. Well, you get that adapter. Or you might be trying to get stuff off a portable hard drive that you already have. Use that USB-C to USB female and run it into the phone. Then you should be able to transfer all those files back and forth. Okay, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to share this quick tip with you to show you that you can actually connect external storage like a thumb drive or a portable hard drive and also your computer. So you can have that versatility to just move files back and forth 
from these different sources. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for taking the time for watching it. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.